Hello and welcome back to Gapy's Garden. It's been a while since I've given you a tour of the garden and the greenhouse and everything is still doing really well. Um, we haven't had super cold temperatures. It's got down to the 20s Fahrenheit a few days, um, but for the most part it's been a pretty mild winter. So let's take a look at what we have going on. We'll start here in the greenhouse. We've got quite a few different greens growing. We have some kale here. The one in the back corner there is called Westlander kale. And then we've got the uh, scarlet kale here, the dark purple one. And it gets really dark purple um, in cooler temperatures. So it's, it's a really nice, pretty color. And then all this other little green stuff popping up, those are all cilantro volunteers from last year's cilantro. And then we have another kale. This is one of my favorite winter kales called Bare Necessities. It seems to do a lot better in the winter time, but it's a very mild flavored kale and it's got these really neat um, curly leaves. And then we also have some lettuce kind of scattered around here. Um, I forget what the name of that variety is, but it is a, a romaine type kale or lettuce. And then we have a few different kinds of mustard. I forget the name of this one here. It's the first time I've grown that variety, but we also have the, the giant red mustard, and this one always does really well for me. I've got four of them here in this section of the greenhouse, and it's all of them are just doing really well, and I've harvested quite a few of those already. And then I also have a few of these um, purple bok choys. I've got one there. This one here looks like it's starting to bolt. So I've been a little behind on the harvesting of these guys. Um, so I need to get those harvested before they start flowering. And then we have some parsley over here that um, I, I'm not sure if it's a volunteer or if it's just one that, that kind of carried over um, from summertime. But it's doing pretty well. I've been harvesting a little bit of, of that parsley too. We have some old onions there in the back and a few spinach. The spinach hasn't really really been doing all that great. It's still really small. I did start some more spinach inside the house, so I'm hoping I'll be able to get that in the ground before it gets too warm. And we have some more lettuces back here. That's looking really good. Probably ready to harvest those pretty soon. And then we have some purple mizuna. And I have a few more of these in the greenhouse on the other side. So I'll show you those as well. And again, we've got lots of cilantro popping up back here too. So on the other side of the greenhouse, we have some more of that mustard back there. And I thought this was a Swiss chard, but it looks like it might be a beet because it's getting a little bit of a, a bulb down there. And we have more mizuna back here and some more of the giant mustard. So the giant mustard on this side of the greenhouse doesn't seem to be doing as well as the other side, but I think because the ground is super wet over here because of the, the rain coming through the, the vents in the roof is kind of making this side of the greenhouse a little bit more wet than the other side. We have some lettuces back here too. And then there's the, the Swiss chard. I'm pretty sure that's what that is there. And we have some more kale and this is more of a, a Russian variety. And we have more uh, spinach back there. That one doesn't look very good either. And then some more lettuce. And then this Mizuna is looking really, really good. That's the, the best looking one. It's getting super big and I've been harvesting that also. We've actually been putting some of that on our pizzas. And we've got some more pretty Swiss chard back here. It's a nice pretty pink one. And we've also got a nice kind of a yellow orangish uh, Swiss chard there. And we've got some more of the purple bok choy and kale and lettuce. So I just kind of scattered things in different areas this year rather than kind of planting all the kale in one spot and all the Swiss chard in one spot. So there's kind of kind of random some more Swiss chard back there. And then we have some more of that. Russian kale and another purple kale. So let's go take a look at what's outside. 
I don't usually plant stuff in the raised beds in the winter time because the chickens are usually free ranging, but I decided to plant out a few things and have them protected by some fencing. So we have this bed here, have a little square of stuff. So this is mostly radishes in here and I've got a few carrots as well. Um, but these are kind of some interesting, these are more like a cylindrical shaped radish. Um, I think it's called Pusa, Pusa Gulabi. Um, so that's a kind of a, a bigger type radish. It seems to be growing pretty well here. And it's mostly, this bed here gets pretty much 100% shade in the winter time. So there's not much um, growth happening over here. And then I've got some carrots back there in the corner. And some of these are probably ready to pick. But um, let's see if we can pick one of these and we'll show you how it looks. This one is looking pretty big. So check that out. So this is, this is a kind of a white looking carrot. Kind of interesting. And in this bed here we have a hoop house covering it and that is mainly to keep the the chickens out of there but that's where this is the bed I've got all the garlic planted in and when I plant garlic I like to mulch it with um, some straw so that's what all this stuff on top is a nice straw mulch and I've noticed it's just starting to get some poking up out of the ground here let's see if we can find they're kind of hard to see, um, but we've got some guys poking up over there, and then I've got some overwintered kale that's not really growing, so I probably should pull those out at some point and feed those to the chickens. And then in this bed, we've got another square of stuff, a little bit bigger than the last one I showed you, and I've got a lot of things in this bed. Um, a lot of the green stuff down here is some clover cover crop so that's not something I'm going to be eating but we've also got some bok choy which you can see is going to flower so um, that might go to the chickens or I might just let it flower and let the bees um, have at it. Um, we've also got some mizuna, um, a few of those in here not doing quite as well as the mizuna that's in the greenhouse. Then I've also got some beets Pretty sure that's what this is here. It's got a pretty small um, bulb down there. And some more of the purple pak choy. And we've got mustard. And this mustard isn't as big as the, the ones in the greenhouse either. And we've also got, um, I think this is some more radishes in there. Let's see what else. I think that's pretty much it that's in, in this bed. And then we've got another bed over here by our compost bins that is completely um, netted in. And this netting was originally to keep the rabbits out, but now it's to keep the, the chickens out. But we've got, um, it's not fully stacked with stuff in here, but we've got some mustards and some bok choy that's going to flower. And we've got some pretty skeletal <laughs> looking um, back cho pot choys in here. So I think a slug or something has been chewing on this stuff. And then we've got some more mustard. This one's kind of pretty. It looks like it's got some pink, pink in there along the stem. And I think that's some Swiss chard there. And more mizuna. And some more lettuce. And I'm surprised how well some of this stuff has survived temperatures down in the 20s. We haven't had a lot of that temperature, but we have had a week or so of it. And then we've got some more, um, oh, we've got the, that's some green radishes over there. I think it's a Japanese variety. Let's see if I can get over there. So you see a closer look at this. So check these guys out. So these, this variety seems to grow more outside of the ground, which I, I find kind of interesting. So look at how, far out of the ground this thing is growing. Um, but yeah, this is definitely ready to harvest. Um, you can see there is some damage on there, but I think most of it is probably pretty good. And here is what's left of the Romanesco. And that was pretty much a fail. Like You probably saw that in my fails video from last year. I never got anything from that, so that's gonna be going to the chickens. And I think that's it for this bed. 
just have a couple more things I wanted to show you. This is a purple artichoke that I planted from seed last year and it did really really well last year um, but unfortunately I'm going to be planting a fig tree in this spot so I'm gonna have to find some place to move this guy to but it did really well in that spot so hopefully the fig tree I put here will be doing pretty well too and then I've got another circular bed like this over here and I'm also going to be planting a fig tree in that spot and right now there is a monster kale that overwintered in here and I can't remember what variety it is but it's it's a big one and you can see the chickens have actually been um, chewing on the leaves when they come out to free range which is totally fine I'll be giving the rest of that to them when I have to take this out to plant the tree and we've got our beehives back here the bees are all doing well. All four hives are still alive. We've got two in the back and two in the front. And it's actually pretty sunny and warm today, so they have been out um, getting some fresh air. And then in this big bed back here, I've got a fig tree that I planted last spring. And I've also got a lot of ranunculus and anemones planted around the edges of this bed and I've never grown those before um, so this is kind of a, a new experiment and they seem to be doing pretty well and this again is to keep the chickens from digging around in here so I think that's about all I wanted to show you we've got our mint bed here but it's pretty much dormant right now and we've got our asparagus which I just mulched with some compost um, yesterday so I'm looking forward to spring and getting some more stuff growing. Thanks for watching and we'll talk to you again soon. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. You can also find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook.